Starry, starry night. Look at all these deer. There's a whole herd of them out there. Just like sort of sleeping. Some of them are sleeping, some of them are grazing. I kind of woke them up though because I turned my lights on to, uh, I had to do something with my car. And I was like, whoa, there's like 20 deer out there. So we're grinding away on the M78 Nebula in Orion. And here's one sub I got. Looks pretty good. I'm doing two minute exposures at gain 200. And my dithering is pretty good. I'm sorry, my, tr my auto guiding is good. And um, this is luminance. And what I'm going to do tonight, since it's uh, I got a late start, I had to do some mount calibrations and fix some problems. My first sub was um, yeah, a little after 10 p.m. Sunset at like 5.30. So I lost uh, three or four hours um, fixing my mount, but it's okay. This is just the, the, the first uh, data run anyway on this target here, M78. It's got a really cool look to it. We have my imaging sequence for M78. I'm working on the green channel right now. I just had a meridian flip a little while ago, and let's take a look at my guiding. All right, so the guiding is pretty good. Um, I'm getting about a quarter of a pixel RMS, uh, which corresponds to 0.88 arc seconds. As you can see on the bottom left over here, I had a dither event here and a little one over here. And so those dithers are going to um, artificially exaggerate the guiding um, statistics on average, but so I'm getting a, at most 0.28 pixels RMS. I have a decent guide star over here with a pretty tight HFD of about three and a half. And uh, everything's going well so far tonight. I'm out here in the cold. Had a little bit of some wind going on earlier, but I set up a, um, it's like a beach umbrella. It has a big um, sort of wind shield effect going on. Let's take a look at my imaging sequence. It's pretty good so far. These stars are nice and round and tight. You can see some great nebulosity in here and here. It looks like I framed it weird, but you'll see there's a bunch of uh, dark dust lanes over here that pop out uh, once you've stacked a lot of subs together. Um, so after green, I'm going to do 20 red at 2 minutes apiece, so that's another 40 minutes. I have 5 other green subs I took, so it's all the same. 40 minute exposures for the red, green, and blue, and blue I did earlier had a little trouble with my software so I ended up um, starting a new sequence with just the green and red and I got two hours of luminance tonight and so I'm looking forward to trying to get a little more luminance after I finish the color bands I think it's like um, I think it's like 18 degrees right now Fahrenheit and there's still a little bit of a breeze like um, like a five mile an hour breeze every now and then that brings the wind chill down to negative 8,000 degrees. Yeah, I, <laughs> I looked it up. No, but really it's, it probably gets down to like, uh, like 14 degrees Fahrenheit with the wind. And I'm just trying to, trying to persevere and just, uh, work my way through the night. We're getting pretty close to finishing up. We as in me, myself, and I. Um, me and the stars, me and that night sky. One thing I wanted to say is that the target I'm imaging tonight is in Orion, M78. And around this time of year, it's set, it gets below that 30 degree altitude mark around 1.15 a.m. Which means I won't have to be out here all night just until it sets too low in the western sky. Then I could pack up and go home. But man, it's pretty cold out here, and I'm all bum bundled up, as you can see. I got three pairs of socks on, 
two pairs of pants <laughs> and uh, and I also have uh, like three layers of shirts including a, a big poofy coat that makes me look like the Michelin man and a leather jacket and a sweater I got a glove some gloves and and, a, and a, a wool hat you could see me wearing it's sort of in my eye right now but I just thought I would check in with you on on the whole environmental aspect the whole temperature and weather situation still really clear the seeing is average at best maybe a little below average but we're getting some good data i can't wait to see what i come up with at the end thanks for tuning in okay so we got all the data i wanted i got pretty much all of it actually about 95 percent of it the wind came back um it didn't mess up too many things but orion was just about to set and so that's all we can do for tonight and so we're headed home the royal we like me and you i'm headed home could barely think i'm tired cold hungry thirsty just gotta get home safe these are just the back roads here to the exit of the park so it's okay to record while talking but uh i'll uh let you guys go we'll talk later at the end of the video please like and subscribe thank you very much